everyone, my name is John O'Sullivan and uh, I'm so excited to be participating in this elephants in the room conversation with all of you. I'm also even more excited about coming to visit Brussels for the Coaching for Greater Purpose Conference, August 19th through 21, um, 2022. It's going to be an amazing event. And when we first started planning that, I think we talked about a couple of the big elephants in the room. And obviously, these last couple of years have been tough on coaches, have been tough on student athletes, have been tough on parents and families everywhere. And so the two elephants or two of the elephants that I am going to address today and also um, in that room in August are number one, the mental health and well-being and emotional wellness of our athletes. And number two, what about the mental health, well-being and emotional wellness of ourselves? Because if we're going to be a better coach, as Joe Ehrman says, you have to be a better you. And that comes with the understanding of, well, how did my sports career end? What is the baggage that I brought with me into my coaching life? How does that affect the way I coach? How was I coached? And all these things are massively important for us to understand and then take a step back and say, what are some of the things that maybe I should have left behind long ago or need to leave behind today in order to become a better coach for our athletes? And also my own wellness, right? Physical wellness, social wellness, emotional, financial, all these things play in to my ability to be the best coach I can be. Because those are the things that are in my ball bag every time I go to practice. And if I don't learn how to discard the bad ones, uh, I could be in trouble. Now, number two, the emotional health and well-being of our student athletes. One of my uh, good friends, Chris von der Hagen from uh, the Belgian FA, always says, who's in front of you? And I think that is one of the most important questions that we can ask ourselves these days is who is in front of me and what does he or she need? Because certainly for the last couple of years, there's been plenty of days where our athletes didn't need detailed X's and O's, didn't need detailed technical training. They just needed an outlet. They just needed joy. They just needed something to, and, and someone to give them just a, a place to be with their friends, to smile again, to have some sense of normalcy. And as we've returned to sport, we can't forget that important connection that we made with our student athletes during that time. And we can't forget to build upon that. Now, one of the things I'm going to break down for you when I'm there, but it's something you can start using right away to, to really help them is something that Jerry and I call the river, right? When you make people feel relevant, when you make them feel inspired, when you make them feel validated, when you empower them and when you respect them, that's when they perform their best, but more importantly, that's when you build the greatest and strongest connections. And so these are all the things that we are gonna break down in August, but I think it's something for you to think about now because without a doubt, mental health and wellness and well-being amongst everyone involved from students, uh, athletes, coaches, teachers, parents, staff, these are the elephants in the room that we are dealing with on a daily basis right now all over the world. And hopefully this little tidbit will help you think a little longer and a little harder about those elephants and how you can, you know, maybe pet them on the head a little bit. Look forward to seeing you all in August. Thanks for letting me be a part of this.